good morning right this is my final video it's the conclusion as you can see I never put Saturday and Sunday up because I didn't work Saturday and Sunday I'll be honest I lost all motivation that week um, totally totally lost all my motivation to work I'm gonna give this a quick wipe that's better um, yeah lost all my motivation to work um, please subscribe thumbs up all that rubbish malarkey now it's been a couple of weeks since I've done them videos um, I did go away so I was like scattering them on slowly but surely um, don't know why I'm falling on a face like that I promise you I haven't been to Turkey to get my teeth done but anyway <laughs> to the point um, yeah so this is the conclusion this is what I found out um, do's and don'ts right so one of my very last jobs was a trip to London if you can recollect uh, I'd never do that again unless the surge pricing was on um, I wouldn't do it it wasn't worth my while um, what didn't help as well which I'd be fucked down most of the way because it was to me it was special circumstances something I wouldn't normally do but it was to me special circumstances um, so I didn't mind but it's not worth it long distance jobs do you know what I've even figured out going to Man um, going to Liverpool Airport from Liverpool City Centre isn't worth it for the time it takes I can do two jobs for the same amount of money um, so <laughs> little, little jobs normally pays better because you get more done your hourly rates more than doing longer jobs but yeah there we go I have found it in general this week um, as you can see by the end of the video I am going to put my total earnings up of what I earned that week uh, me personally I think I've done okay yeah I don't think I've done majorly bad um, I'd say my total outgoings would be 300 give or take um, so with the total, total amount of work it wasn't too bad uh, if I would have worked the weekend it would have been a hell of a lot better okay. um, can people make a living on Uber yes you can still definitely make a living on Uber uh, is it right to do the hours I don't I don't particularly think so it was a lot of hours um, like I said at the end of the week um, there was a couple of things I was knackered physically and emotionally drained yeah I really was how do I find Uber pains absolute pains so there was a couple of issues <coughs> excuse me which I had so cancellation fee for the start um, there was a job in the city centre it took me a while to get to them and they cancelled it just it was there I didn't get the cancellation fee because in a nutshell Uber said I took too long to get to them but I went as fast as I could traffic's traffic's traffic if you're in city centres and stuff like that you're not moving anywhere fast um, what other issue did I have with them oh my word um, toll roads so 
when I went to London, I went on the Index toll. I shouldn't have really. It's a minute difference, but I was in a rush. That minute could have meant a lot to the person that was in my car. Uh, yeah. So they didn't pay me my toll. I questioned if they went. You should have got in touch with us within 48 hours. Something I didn't notice and I weren't paying attention to. So I weren't really happy with that response. As they can clearly see, I was on the M6 toll because of me sat nav. Uh, airport park and they didn't do me out of any of that. I had to pay £12 going to London. I tried to get that back off Uber. Same again, we had none of it. Um, next one, working in Manchester. Is it worth working in Manchester? I'd say yeah. Now, especially with what I done. So, I didn't drive straight to Manchester. Oh, look at that, a brand new snowplow. Um, I didn't drive direct to Manchester. I had a job to Manchester, worked in it for a bit. Now, the only issue I had is when I was coming back, I must have wasted a good couple of hours rejecting jobs because they weren't worth me while taking them. Because I was driving 11, 12, 13 miles back in the opposite direction for hardly any money at all. Um, it would have been more of a loss than earning. Um, what other issues did I find? I don't think there was any other issues. I probably mentioned something in the video that I, I can't remember. Um, yeah, I, I, to be honest, it's, an, it's, it's, a, it's not a long video, so straight to the point, is Uber worth it? It can be. Got to work smart, try not to work hard, don't do the sort of hours I do, um, and you'll be okay, you will be okay. Um, big thank you to everyone who's watched my videos um, and now it might have been a bit hard because I scattered them out um, I'm just on my way to Manchester now with a customer you can't see them because it's a box my favourite Uber jobs um, but that is me done on the conclusion so once again, it boils down, Uber can be worth it if you work smart and not hard. Um, once again, don't do the hours I had done, it's too long. I don't know how these people can do it, I genuinely can't. Who work the full hours every mortal day. It's not good. It's not good um, physically and it's not good for your mental well-being as well. Something else which I didn't include, which I should have, is I've just said mental well being. Stories I heard was not going to repeat any of them, but some of them were really sad. I mean, sad enough where it made me stop for a bit after I've dropped them off. And this is what people don't realise. You're not just a driver, you're a counsellor. People tell you some problems, what they're having in your life, and they want you to listen to them. Not necessarily respond, but they just want it, you know, an ear to listen to. That's something I do enjoy about the job. Uh, I'm, I always try and respond to the problems, what they've got. Should I? Not necessarily. Do I feel it helps? Sometimes. Um, but that's it. So remember your own mental well-being. Big one. 
right but that's me i'm done once again if you like what i do please subscribe if you like my videos give me the thumbs up i need these subscriptions for subscribers right i'm off to manchester with me box take it easy take care look after yourself look after the people around you and see you soon here we go so this is my final earnings for the week i done so if we look at the breakdown all together i got 48 pounds and 75 pence holiday pay from the week before so we'll take that from our final um plus i also earned 42 pounds in tips i'm actually going to keep that in the final i've done 158 trips I received 174 points and total time online was 68 hours and 23 minutes in fairness i would say i'd take around 300 pounds out of this for expenses that's including diesel and insurance and only them two expenses you do have more expenses you have um snacks drinks and other bits and bobs in all fairness as well you should put around 30 to 50 pounds away a week for any inconveniences i.e um getting the car serviced or even bulbs repairs stuff like that but that is the total amount so let's do the breakdown so we start off on the monday so I done 12 hours and 31 minutes to reach me 10 hours. I done 31 trips and my total was 272 pounds and 46 pence. Bear in mind, this is what I took home. This isn't including Uber's cut. And then on the Tuesday, I done 17 hours and 36 minutes, I done 40 trips um done all right with tips on that day I've done 14 pounds and total amount earned was 354 pounds and 18 pence next day was the wednesday so i carried that on from the tuesday if i can remember rightly so net fair 106 and two pound tips Then we are on Thursday now, seven hours and 36 minutes, and the total amount was 171 pounds and 77 P, including five pound tips. Now here's the Friday. Now bear in mind, I did go out early in the morning, uh, sorry, on the Thursday night, I carried on into the Friday morning. So altogether, 12 hours and 55 minutes, 25 trips, Total fare is £475.18. Now, bear in mind that was including a trip to London as well. And then that is the carry on. So, six hours and nine minutes. Now, bear in mind I was empty most of the time coming back from London, but I did do some more jobs when I got back to Liverpool um, to reach me 10 hours which got me 17 pounds and 26 pence and two pound tips. Um, altogether, four trips. <laughs> uh, and then on the Sunday, I did go out, um, but the motivation was at all time low. It really was. Um, there was just no motivation whatsoever. So I've done five hours and that's 116 pounds and 62 pence, including one pound tip. 19 trips um well, when you think about that all rubbish jobs then terrible price but anyway that's it that's what i've done if you've got any questions let me know thanks for watching and please subscribe also give us the thumbs up if there's any other videos you want to see please let me know right you all have a good day bye